morning! Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on a beef and arable farm here in frosty South Yorkshire. Um, today is Valentine's Day and I'm going to get a lot of cards. I'll tell you later why. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you now. It's because it's my birthday. Um, so yeah, if you like this sort of thing, you like tractors, cattle and all that kind of thing, press that subscribe button and press like because um, it'll make my birthday. It's not like pushing it on you, is it? <laughs> Andy's already on it, blowing the straw out, look. With the Teagle and the John Deere. So this is our first problem this morning. It's a good job we've got these gates. Um, the cows have lifted a gate off and are out. Aren't you, Hey. Eh? Yes, you're not supposed to be out. So me and Andy will get the gate back on and then put them back in the pens. So we've got the gate back on and now we're just gonna put a nail through this hole here and then they shouldn't ever be able to lift it off again. That's the plan. I don't know why they've wanted to do that. There's plenty of food in here and stuff. So I think they've just been rubbing. Right, we're just on filling the mixer right now. That sun's shining down. So my dad's on filling that. I'm gonna jump on the nine meter and we'll put some hay out. Now I better go and let Andy in some pens. What's this through the fog? We've got a Massey in the yard. Oh, Andy will be happy. Andy will think it's his birthday. So Andy's got these guys strawed up. My dad's just feeding them now. Oh, wonder why Andy's packed here. What's that rattling in your hand there, Andy? Not all heroes wear capes. Never sure about Never sure about gone in the Teagle. Come here. Must be somewhere. Anyways, let's hope that the thing's still in there this time. It's stopped in this time, anyway. Yeah. Someone would be like, "Oh, you had to keep a spare one of them." But the if you did, if you did that, you, you know, you'd keep a spare for everything. You'd have tens of grand's worth of stuff when it can be sat at Ripon Farm Services, not costing me anything. Yeah. Anyway, this fella like literally trying to eat my arm. Not you? Hey? Come on then, again. You're lovely, aren't you? You are a big softie. You're just always licking. Oh yeah. Hey? Oh, it's got, my, it's got my hand now. You crackers! You crackers! So, I've jumped on here. with the little Jack Russell. And um, I'm going to put some straw in the bottom. Andy's just getting stuff ready. And he'll knock the tractor off and we'll, uh, we'll go and spread some out. Oh, I've got another dog here as well. Top rat catcher is our squish. He's not really. It's almost like it's raining in here. So it's got a, um, a tin roof, this shed. All of our other roofs are like fibre cement. And yeah, when it gets frosty, it does does drop moisture in. Not great, not ideal for uh, a livestock shed, but it's uh, it's what we we could afford at the time, so it's what went up. To be honest, it, it don't look it don't look like it's doing them any harm, does it? It's coffee time. So Andy's off down. Are you off down, Devon? Yeah. Yeah, for, for the next couple of days, and then um, so he's been coming to help. Well. Ben's still away. He was supposed to come home like yesterday. I think he was supposed to set off at like 11 or something. It's been delayed because of fog. I reckon it's because of aliens, you know, it's guy. Not yeah. aliens anymore, other Chinese bulls. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's, so they put him in an hotel overnight. Very nice. He wanted that though. He did say to me he hoped he got delayed. Oh no, but I, I talked to him last night when he was heading to the hotel and it sounded like everybody was absolutely myth. Like they've been in airport for like eight hours or something <laughs> and then they decided to let him into a hotel. 
you can imagine though, you just go, you're not you're not going to be going back to the same hotel. They're probably going to put you in like a travel lodge or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it's got to be as good or it's not better. No, maybe you might get his money back though. In fact, somebody will know this if you delayed for like over. It'll be, I think it'll be over twenty four hours. Will he get his money back? Let us know in comments. Not mm. sure, isn't it? Yeah, it might be. Eight hours. Is it? Maybe. Do some research. Well, let us know, and then we can tell him. Business. Right, so Andy is going to get the mill running. I've got to fill this lorry up with diesel because my dad's off to Thirsk. And then I think we're going to do a bit of mucking out, seeing as it is cold. A bit for, I mean, the frost's going now, but you know, but it's dry, isn't it? So let's get some muck out while we can. So we're still here. It's it's not changed a great deal actually over the last few weeks. So I'll stand here for uh, quite some time. Not exactly a high speed bump. Yeah, but it's still going on. And we're about to into the falls. Oh, just stopped. So I got back in the yard. Looks like my mum's just turned up, and um, Andy's got the trailer on, mill on. Job's happening. So the mill's up and running, and he's going to back a trailer in and we're going to get some muck out. Just pushing uh, bales out of the way so Andy can get backed in a bit better. And we can start mucking out. Shift this here. There's no point chucking this in the muck. Might as well eat it. Right, so the mucking out is beginning. Get this. Oh, it's so dusty today, we're using that mill. Chip it in there. Repeat process until it's full. That sun is really bright today. And it's just filling the mill up to the top. Don't spill it, Andy. Then he's going to take that load of muck. So Andy's getting off with that now, and I'm going to lift these troughs out. I wonder if there'll be any rats. Right, let's try and. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Andy's off with another load now. So I'll keep the mill filled up. Right, I've just had my dinner. Drone's out, let's go and see what Andy's up to. Right, I've got it all loaded up with muck. I hope you like the drone footage, by the way. And you know what? I think I'm gonna have a go in this tractor. First proper tech out onto the road. Yeah, first time being on road of it, actually. Yeah, 100%. So I'm gonna have a little blast to the field with this. Leave Andy here milling. Mm. 
pulls well. See what Andy thinks. <laughs> so I've got onto the lane. Oh, she's a bit rough. Looks like Andy's been swinging in to get in. I'll take it nice and steady down here. It's all right to drive, it's just a bit, I don't know, a bit different with changing speed and stuff because you can like use your engine braking in other tractors. I don't really like pulling back on stick on that and using engine braking because people reckon that's how you blow these up, so. But yeah, nice not having to change gear, I'll give it that. So I'm just opening the back door now. It's fully open. We'll tip her up. To do that, I'm just using these buttons here. Touch wood, it should all come out. So as we tip it up, the load does push us forward a little bit. There we go. So that's it there, all tipped up. Good tractor, I like it. What do you reckon? My birthday ride in the tractor. Nice. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's not bad that. I wouldn't say it's a bad little tractor uh, slash big tractor slash massive tractor for us actually and he's been holding the fort while I've had a little go as well so it's getting that warm I've gone for double door aircon um, oh it's quite nice there's a lovely breeze blowing through it's delightful uh, while we're feeding these cows, Andy wants to get finished a little bit early because um, he's off down Devon. So we're just trying to get stuff sorted now. Right, so it's come to mix mention time. Andy's trying to get stuff done and I want to get this um, sorted. Thank you very much to everyone who's donated today. The, the, it's just gone up, like it's gone up another level. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to say happy birthday. To Rob Samways, who's four, what a day, what a day to have a birthday, legend. <laughs> and now, uh, it's happy birthday to somebody called Joe Seals, who's that guy, and um, the people have sent this in are Elliot Luck, Tim at GCS Machinery, Michael Gallagher, Paul James Fitzmaurice, now he's from Ireland, I think, I think you're from Ireland, Paul, it's in Euros, and he's sent a massive donation, so thank you very much to Paul James for that. Carol and Simon Bilton, locals, um, met, the, met, met them um, a few months ago and brilliant people. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone who's donated to this, to Yorkshire Area Ambulance. We're now at £3,956. So nearly at that 4000 mark. Can we get there in the next couple of weeks? I hope so. I hope so. So thanks for watching through it, guys. Anyway, because I know, I know, you know, it's not interesting for everybody, but we are just trying to do a little bit of good with what we do on our channel. So, um, yeah, thanks for those guys who don't skip through it and, and watch it. Business. The lasses is going in. It's smelling absolutely lovely. If only we had smell of vision. And the six two ten is powering it with ease. Yeah, way, way too much power on this big circle. Um, 6.9 is got the first spread on. Actually, that can come off. That can come off, uh, but we probably might need to spray it on. Mm. Anyway, it's on here. So, Andy's just sorting the straw out. I'm going to tip this mix off. I've got a few more to feed. So, he's got the 215 backed in there. So, Andy's off now. He's got to go down to Devon. He might be going somewhere a bit special. 
Lee, and you might be sending us some footage of what he's doing, so that'll be good. Have fun. Thank you. Right, I've just jumped on the 9 meter. I'm going to finish up fetching the straw down, ready for tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope Andy has a nice time down in Devon. I'm sure he will, and um, we'll get his uh, we'll get his footage of where he's going, hopefully. Uh, if he manages to get a bit, should be fun. Getting them down from right at the top. This stack's going down now. Look at this, look how much building we've got. It was like sort of past there, there um, when we started it. She's going down. If you can see the sunset through the barn, but it looks nice. Let's get the rest of these bales put out. I've got a bit of tidying up. And then I think I've got to wait for my dad to come back from first. And then I'll go and see Becky and the kids. And uh, have some birthday cake. Yeah, the sun is just disappearing over the hills over uh, bands away there on my birthday just going down it's the day's ended i oh, will um i hope that you've liked it um if you have press the like button and subscribe if you're not already it really does help our channel grow and show more people about farming things like that so um yeah appreciate that and massive appreciation to the people that have wished me happy birthday and put the things on mixed mentions and you know all that kind of thing it's, it's really really nice that there's like a bit of a, a community around the channel and uh um yeah yeah it's nice it's heartwarming um anyway i'm bumbling on thank you very much hope everyone has a great valentine's day and um yeah we'll catch you tomorrow cheers see you bye so i'm gonna get this back in here i keep thinking actually i need to put a i need to put a thing on here so if i've got time before my dad gets back i'm gonna put a uh a whizzy bob. What do you call it? What would you call it? The thing that goes on the steering wheel. I don't know. That's what I'm on about. One of them things. But um, it's on real tight, so I've had to get... Um, I'll have to get mole grips on here to try and turn it off because it's real tight. Well, look at that. It took me all the, like, two minutes to do. And just made the job so much better. It is a lot easier using one of them. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye. And my dad's back from first, so we'll get these two dropped off.